What's going on Pixel Hackers? Christian Lovrasic from Pixel Feed here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix not being able to select the purchase event for your Facebook ad campaigns. But before we get started, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's dive right in. So a lot of you guys have been asking about the purchase objective or the conversion event not showing up on your account being grayed out, meaning that when you're starting on a new account, if you try if you try to go straight for purchases uh, because you're trying to get sales for your store, Facebook is not letting you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain to you the theory behind it, what it takes to get the purchase conversion to show up. And if you watch till the end, I'm going to give you a hack where you can bypass it and make it happen if you really want to. But once I'm done explaining this, most of you are not going to want to do that. But just in case, I'll show you how to bypass it. Anyway, so let's say I have a brand new account here and I'm trying to set up a new campaign. So I created a draft and I go here into my ad set. And this is what I'm referring to. This is what people are complaining about. They go in here to select their pixel event and then everything's grayed out. Like purchase is grayed out, but you know, you'll, you'll have something like you'll have landing page views showing up. So your only option is going to be landing page views uh, to get the account started. It won't let you choose purchase right off the bat. So you can see here, I'm clicking on it. Nothing's happening, right? So what's the reason for that? Well, you guys have to understand how Facebook works in the first place. Facebook uses an algorithm based on signals and base, basically based on the signals that your store sends back to Facebook, Facebook makes the decision of where it's going to put that ad in front of, what type of person that it's going to place that ad in front of. So let's say that people are clicking over through your ad and landing on your homepage but not taking action, Facebook is going to try to figure out why is that happening based on your objective. So let's say if you're going straight from purchase right off the bat and your targeting is not on point or it's not perfect and you're sending people to your, to your store or let's say your product is not a good match for the audience that you're trying to target and people are not buying. Well, Facebook's going to have to work a thousand times harder to try to make it work without any data whatsoever. If Facebook has a little bit of data at first, it can learn from it and then it'll be easy, easier for it to go in the right direction. Now, if you're someone like me who knows what they're doing, who's been doing this for over a decade, I can go in there and just throw money at it and bypass it you know, the right way, the quickest way possible by just spending a ton of money. But the reality is that if you're watching this video, you're probably on a new account or you're a newbie and you don't have thousands of dollars to throw around a day. So you're probably starting with $10 a day or $20 a day or whatever it is. And you want to do it the right way. So there's an event ladder that Facebook follows when it comes to, uh, you know, they're, you're reaching your objectives. And it's just like your sales ladder when you have an offer, you know, you have a freebie and then you move up the ladder to the most expensive things. So if you go to your pixel settings right here, and this is an e-commerce store, you're going to see you have all your events right here. And if you're watching this, well, you're watching this after iOS 14, you should have set, it, set up your aggregated event measurement, your eight objectives for your e-commerce store, right? I have a video on it that explains how to do, you know, set up the events for iOS 14. So if you haven't done it, go watch that. The link is in the description. Uh, but anyway, you have your events set up. So what's going to be easier to Facebook to achieve, even if your targeting is not perfect, but just based on your ad copy and your images and videos, what's going to be easier for Facebook to go for? Well, it's going to be easier for Facebook to go for view content, or in this case, what they're forcing you to do is landing page views, right? And if we look our, our, our what I like to call the event ladder, or, you know, if, if you it, how do we get up? How, let's look at the ladder. That's basically what I'm getting at. So look, you have page view, you have view content, you have search, add to cart, initiate checkout, lead, purchase, add payment info. So think about the customer journey when they go to your store. If they have no idea who you are, think of it, try to picture what the customer journey is. They click on your ad, they're gonna land on your on your e-commerce store, right? And what's that, what's that letter look like? Well, what's the first thing that's going to happen? It's a landing page view. And it's not in here because that's not one of my events in that account, but it'll be a landing page view and it's not counted as an event. Uh, per se. It's just the optimization that you're choosing. So what is the first thing that's going to happen with the landing site? Well, the first event that's going to be set up if they look at one of your products after landing page view, it's going to be view content. View content is, you know, it's going to go off. That event's going to go off if they're looking at a product. 
Uh, what's next after that? If they choose, if they like that product because you're targeting some point and the offer matches the audience, what's the next step after that? Well, add to cart. Okay, cool. So what's the next step after that? They like the product. They're going to go ahead and buy it. What's going to happen? Well, they're going to initiate checkout. And what happens after you say checkout? Well, they add payment info. And what happens after they, they add their payment info? Boom. They purchase the product and your purchase event goes off, which is the highest event on this particular ladder for e-commerce. That's your ultimate goal. But in order to achieve that type of individual to take action, you, your product has to be a perfect match with your offer to that audience. And if it's not a passionate product that people want right away that they must have like uh you know like let's say a michael jordan shoe drop right that people are just lining up to buy it guess what most likely you're gonna have to spend a lot of money to make that happen because if you're on your account facebook doesn't have the data for it so it has to optimize little by little by little so what you should be doing if you're starting out is training your ad account to choose the right event so even though you're stuck on landing page views just try to get people to purchase your product by tweaking your offer, working on your website, and making sure your interest targeting is on point. And the more traffic that you run to it, the better the traffic is gonna get. And if you're watching the people landing on your page, like I tell you guys all the time, using an app like Lucky Orange, if you're using Shopify, if you're using ClickFunnels, use an app called Hotjar, where you can actually watch people in the store, you're gonna discover a bunch of bottlenecks if people are not buying from you. So study your website, study your funnel, and make sure that there's nothing from stop, stopping those people to purchase from you. Because even if you're optimizing for landing page views, guess what? If, you're, if your product is fire, you're still going to get purchases, right? So you, you want to work your way up that ladder if the budget is not there, okay? So I hope this makes it very clear of what the process is of how face, the Facebook algorithm learns, right? on how to get the right people to your store to take that action that you're going for. So now the question that everybody's asking, and it's like, how do I bypass that? Is there a way to bypass it? Absolutely. There's, you just got to get a, you know, a little bit, you know, tricky with it. So let me show you how you can bypass it if you really want to do it. But if it's a new account in a new store, I don't recommend you do it, but here, just so you know how to do it. So basically what you have to do, there's two ways you can do it. You can grab um, your code manually right here, and you're going to copy your Facebook pixel code this is your pixel code right and let's say you're using click funnels right you're going to go to your settings right here and then it's going to take you uh to your head tracking code and i don't have the pixel installed here and yours is going to be blank there's not going to be anything on here you copy and paste right here and then instead of page view you're going to change this to purchase and guess what now when people land on your website or on your funnel the purchase event's going to go off so you only need 25 people to land on that front page in order to fire off the 25 different events. Could you go into under test mode and do it yourself? Absolutely. But if you're going to cheat, then at least get the data of real people landing on that, on that page. Because if they're clicking on your ad to land on that page, that means there's some type of interest. So at least give that little bit of data back to Facebook. Right. So let's say you want to, you're using Shopify. Well, if you're using Shopify, you can do the same thing. You can, you, you can do your test. Uh, put the, the store into test mode and then fire it off over 25 times in order for the, for the purchase event to be available on your account. If you want to do it uh, so you get at least a little bit of data, you're going to go in here and then you're going to hit uh, customize. No, that's the wrong one. Sorry. You're going to go to uh, edit. You're going to go to uh, edit code. You can tell it's been a while since I've done this. And you're going to go to theme liquid. Right. And then you're going to go under header. Uh, so let's look uh, for the header. Boo, 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 boo. Let's see. It's right here. Duh. Head. So you press enter and then you paste your pixel code and you do the same thing. You change this to purchase and then you save it and boom. Now you have the purchase event all over your website, but make sure you get rid of, uh, you know, the Facebook app and all that because you're going to get double fires all over the place. And then once you're done, you delete the code from here and then you're set again that's high works that's how you do it it's up to you what you choose to do guys if you like that video make sure to check out the links in the description below help support the channel and if you want to keep learning about facebook ads and digital marketing in general make sure to click one of the videos right above me and i will see you guys in the next video